Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at SSH command control feature that has been recently rolled out in Manage Engine's PAM360 solution. Normally, in PAM360, if you share a Linux machine with an end user, they will be able to access the machine and launch an SSH session even without the knowledge of the password. So in this example, I have logged in as an end user and I have been given access to this test account. So when I launch an SSH session, I can pretty much run any command and perform whatever activity I would like to perform as long as the account has the privileges to do so. But with this new SSH command control feature, you can control what activities this user can perform when they launch an SSH connection. So to configure this, first you have to log into this PAM solution as an administrator and navigate to the admin section. So you will find this manage commands option newly available. In this section, you can create a set of commands that you would like to collect as a group. And then you can take the group of commands and associate it with a particular Linux account. So for example, this basic administration group contains the who am I command, and this file system group contains pwd, find, and ls command. So these are some examples of commands and command groups that already comes bundled with the product. But you can go ahead and create new commands and create new groups. So now let's go to the resources tab and look at that CentOS machine that has been shared with that end user. So this test account has been shared with that user, but now I'm going to go to account actions and then go to configure SSH command control section. So I want this user to be able to execute any commands present in this file system group and also the basic administration group of SSH commands. So I click on associate and that's it. Now I will log out and log in as that end user so we can see how this change reflects for that user. So again, so the user can see that sent machine and they can use the test account even though they cannot see the password of the test account. So when I click on SSH, it will log me into the machine, but I am not allowed to execute any command I want. Instead, the authorized commands are available for me in this right top corner. So if I want to run the who am I command, I can just click on execute. And you can see that PAM executes the who am I command and shows the output. Same goes for ls command. So if I click on it, it executes the ls command and all the outputs are available in the screen. So using this feature, you can control what activities a user can perform in the Linux machine, even if you have shared with them a particular account that has more capabilities.